snapping and pivots. So I'm going to show you how to move the pivot point of an object and I'll show you why this is very important to know. If you hit dog on the keyboard, D is in dog, you can move this. Okay? And this is the pivot point. If you hold D down with V as in Victor, it allows you to snap this to a point on the object. If this is at the very bottom of the object, notice every time that I click here or rotate it or whatever, it's always rotating based upon its new pivot point. Okay. So if I go like this, snap it, if I need to put it on the grid, I can use X. Move and X on the keyboard allow you to snap it to the grid. So get used to moving this around, snapping it to some kind of point, and then X allows you to snap it on the grid space. You'll need that for the assignment. To reset the pivot point, all you do is go Modify, Center Pivot. Now up at the top is my Snap Features. For right now, you need to know this one and this one. If you hold V on the keyboard, notice this happens. It, it pushes that button for me. X on the keyboard pushes this one. And later on, uh, just to let you know how to work this, C on the keyboard allows you to do this one. But we won't get into this one just yet. Okay, X, C, and V. This last one has to do with live, again to be covered later. Now, let's say I have another object. Let's duplicate this. You can duplicate any object using Command D or Control D on a PC. If I have two objects, I can dog Victor 1, let go, and then hit V, and now I can snap the other object to that one. Okay, so there's a lot you can do with snapping, and there's a lot you can do with the moving the pivot point around. It'll save you lots of time when manipulating objects. So get used to it. Alright, so that is snapping and pivot points. Please move on to the next video.